general overview of Southeast Clarendon is that it was terribly affected. In other words, the severity of the damage is far more than what I have observed in other areas. And so the residents here, in addition to having lost their roofs and seeing houses totally destroyed, such as this one, they have to contend with flooding. In addition to which, the economy of Southeast depends heavily on fishing and uh, all the fishing villages have been destroyed the boats have been destroyed and so that is another dimension of the impact of course the residents are also dealing with what everybody else is dealing with the loss of electricity but there appears to be a greater incidence of downfalls so the residents here are impacted severely government will therefore be mobilizing to assist very rapid. So we are already mobilized. We are already assisting those persons who are in shelters. And I witnessed the mobilization of support there, but the mobilization to help those persons who are in need, but not in shelters, that has also begun. And we will increase the level of support. So the instant help with tarpaulins, with water supply, you know, small packets, care packets that could have water and food. And uh, we do have a plan to return portable water through the pipes so that we hope to have effected within a few days. So the residents are, of course, like everyone else, inconvenienced. They are, many of them, upset and angry. But the truth is, they are still of high spirit. They are still hopeful. And what I like to see is that they are helping themselves.